a Tuesday and you are welcome to Let's Talk Showbiz here on Joy News on Multi TV. And today is quite packed because we have some interesting stories to share with you. Yes, the 20th edition of the Joy FM Beauty and Bridal Fair, it has been officially launched. I'll give you details on that. And also, for the first time, Moesha Boudon has opened up on her CNN interview and she seems to have something good to talk about and then we have other trending entertainment stories you know how we do it here on let's talk showbiz my name is doreen avi and of course the show is let's talk showbiz <music> Let's Talk Showbiz. Now, if you just join me, this is Let's Talk Showbiz. And as I mentioned earlier, the Joy FM Beauty and Bridal Fair has been officially launched. And of course, we have some of the executives of the planning committee who were in the studios of Joy FM to give us more details on the Joy FM Beauty and Bridal Fair. But for those of you who are looking forward to be here this year, you need to mark the date because it is the 28th of June to the 1st of July. Uh, well, let's hear how it all went down in the studios of Joy FM. So, um, you know, show. for the fashion show, what we're, what we're looking at is, you know, Sometimes when you when you look around and when you monitor what happens on social media, I realize that people go very heavy on the traditional theme, the traditional marriage. Mm. Um, I know that very soon we're we're following you somewhere, uh, you know, inside GH for <laughs> something you know very special. I hope it's somewhere. So, don't worry, you do the wedding match with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so so. Um, uh, we're, 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 f we're throwing a lot of focus on the, f the traditional theme, okay? Yeah. So, uh, we'd have the regular uh, suited theme, the mm. regular gown theme, and then we're also going to have the kente theme, and okay. then the agbada and, you know, theme. It's going to be Is it more like showcasing the different parts of Ghana on the runway? <laughs> definitely, definitely. Showcase a lot of um, uh, the pre-wedding photo shoot. Now, it's, it's very big mm. out it's in there. Vogue. Mm. Yeah. So, we're going to have, you know, those themes also. And then a lot of the bridesmaids and the groomsmen's themes as well. There's okay. a question here. Put... There's a question here. Sorry, <laughs> Nat is asking put... you a question. Okay. Who, who is asking a question? Nat, this Nat, can you put your live on Facebook? Your live on Facebook. Speak up and let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Honestly speaking, I just wanted uh, I, I wanted Adam to hammer on. You, know, you listen to her on Saturday mornings. <laughs> oh, you know, I come after her on these Saturday. Topics. I mean, yes. sometimes well, you know, you're oh, up with the, the little the kids and she's yeah. So the marriage seminar has. A big set of topics. Okay. Um, let her like, go to the, okay. yes. the very first one, which was actually proposed by this Nathaniel Lato. Be and careful. That topic is orgasm. <laughs> What's the big deal? Orgasm. Yes, What's heard the it. big deal? Yes. Uh, who are the speakers? <laughs> Nathaniel. <laughs> oh, why? Right. I love the smile. <laughs> Charlie, do you have an MBE in orgasm? We have a, good, MBE we have a good line of, of, of ask, speakers yeah. will be confirming very very soon okay but then um, the other topic we're looking at um, the good the bad and the ugly side of money on money your okay in your mind okay you know the whole theme for this year is the chase so we're looking at what you can keep doing so that you can keep chasing each other mm. in your marriage. Mm. After a while, you know, how to stay appealing. We become very familiar with each other. How yes. to stay appealing? Yes. <laughs> Maybe that's a topic we should consider as well. How to keep the appeal on, on fire. It's very, very important. And then um, we have, you know, quite a number of topics we're still looking at but these two have been you know confirmed we're still looking at quite a number of topics and um it's going to be very interesting my seminar always is at 2 p.m in the afternoon so okay. that's coming up how, then, how many days are we looking at for the bridal fair it starts from the 28th to the 1st of july okay so we have about four days okay usually after 5 p.m you realize that people are relaxed and you know there's not so much to do people come to shop and go but this time around we're creating the happy hour also after to five okay so when you close from work you come there will be kizomba kizalsa mm -hmm. um if you want to learn you can come and learn it's going to be like a proper happy hour after work so you are there till about 8 p.m when you know the fair closes the next morning between 8 and 9 we're open again okay first july is a very big day it's a holiday so we're expecting that it will be very big lots of activities and fun um just come there and come and have fun at the my um the the bridal fair this year from the 28th to the first of july okay. but sammy what was that look on your face when she talked about kizomba and salsa uh, i'm wondering 
Yeah. Oh no, I've I've heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward Kizumba. to mm. to to meeting Kizumba and the people. Ah, there are people over. Oh, I know, I know. I'm <laughs> but you know, one of the things that just excites me is that there are people who are wearing rings that you know they that definitions for them. So for some people, they move them from you know from the finger at the edge okay. you know, to the to the the significant figure. So there's a very good friend of mine who's standing outside the studio. Yeah, uh, probably she's also gonna give us a date to attend her wedding. So Charlie, after a traditional marriage just get your stuff ready and get your suits and everything ready okay she's been listening attentively (laughs) she's light-skinned and once facebook live goes on um you know and and all of these people daniel yes all of these people are just going to come by to the fair and uh, have a good feel of the variety in Mm, in, in mm, the stores and mm. in the stands so they could just plan that super day remember um it's always said that we have only three days three very important days in our lives the day that i mean for those who are within a certain circle so the day you're born, the day you get married, and the day you die. Mm. That's what they say. Yeah. Um, okay. You know. And so there's, there's funny, one other very interesting yeah. thing that's going to happen. We're going to have flash sales. Flash sales? Yes, for okay. all the four days. Is that where you get like 50% discount? You, get deals. you can get some big deals. Big deals. Big, okay. big deals. That's going to happen. And, and Sammy, you know what happened last year? With the makeup people, the people that charge 3000 for makeup on everything. On everything. <laughs> okay, Every so two you, hours, you, you, there'll be deals. You know what happened last year? What happened? So, we, we, you know, we got on the stage we were saying hello to everybody we were you know doing these freebies the all of the vouchers and all of the surprise presents and then a lady just walks up to Marco Krikumanti and says oh I look I'm a big fan I've been such a big fan all of these years I'm so glad to meet you to me do take you do take you as my as my unlawful unlawful <laughs> whether bridal fair white whether bridal fair white <laughs> from this day forward from this day forward. all right wonderful put your hands together for him and we do that for lady say hi hi um, what did I say again? I had to crunch the whole thing. Uh, do take the... Do take the... As... As my... As my unlawful... Unlawful. I would deny any day. I would deny any day. Well, you never know. <laughs> At this Joy FM Beauty and Bridal Fair wedding. At this Joy FM Beauty and Bridal Fair wedding. From this day forward. So help me God. I pronounce you man and wife thick. <laughs> you make me wanna rearrange the alphabet. So I could put you next to letter I. Take my heart, baby, carry go. If you leave me, baby, I will die. Next one, next one, next one, next one, next one. Camera foot is clean, I know you're risky, risky. This is much less smile, see, risky, risky. Up and in one time, and in one chilly, chilly. Hey, me baby, me brownie, yeah. Golden tree, chocolate, yeah. Me chat only. Let's.
talk showbiz. Still on movies, though. Ghanaian actor Prince David Osei is really upset with the government, and it's not just the current government, but with the past government as well. He thinks that um, the creative arts sector, it's like there's no respect for it. He thinks that um, we're just hanging in there. There's always a back and forth, but nothing is being done for the sector. Well, um, you know, when it comes to the showbiz entertainment industry, we've We've always been relegated right from time memorial. People don't really pay attention, irrespective of presidents that have come and gone. They don't really pay attention to the show business, um, being that they forget the fact that we are the mouthpiece of tourism in the country. Entertainment is the mouthpiece of um, tourism. If the tourism industry is going to boost and go far, it's all about entertainment, you understand? So it's not just J.E. Kufo. The, the other leaders that have come and gone and the present ones, you know, if they are going to pay attention to show business and understand that the only way we can sell Ghana to the world is through tourism, then it will go a long way to help all of us and help the industry. Hey, expectation, has any of the governments satisfied your expectations or lived up to it? No, not to the former president, not uh, His Excellency J. Kufo, and not even the present government. They don't, I think they don't respect showbiz, that's all I'll say. Wow, they don't respect. But have you had a sit down with the current Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture to at least get, air out your grievances and suggest anything to her at all? Well, they've never been that platform. A couple of people have met her. And um, as you rightly know, I was standing there with you when she came to me and um, she blatantly said, that am I one of the people that are fighting here? You, you heard it, it was myself and a cosmete. So if she's gonna meet me as an actor and she's a minister and she's gonna introduce herself that way to me, I mean, it tells it all. <laughs> Let's talk showbiz. And that was Ghanaian actor Prince David Osei, of course, interacting with my colleague Ibrahim Ben Baku. We all call him IB, and he says, uh, well, the, the current and the past government are actually not really respecting the creative arts industry. Now, to some international stories, Kanye West is in the news. If probably I heard it somewhere, I'd probably say that um, it's one of those things. But this time, Kanye West is actually confirming it, and he says he's been diagnosed with mental condition before. I've never been diagnosed until I was like 39 years old and stuff, so put that on me as... What do you mean by diagnosed? diagnosed with a mental condition. Kanye West gets real about his mental health struggles while chatting with host Big Boy at his yay listening party in Wyoming last Thursday. Just do something for my heart. The next day, the 40-year-old rapper dropped his most revealing and controversial album yet, including cover art that read, I hate being bipolar. It's awesome. See, that's my third part. That's my bipolar What? That's my superpower. Ain't no disability. I'm a superhero. I'm a superhero. Yeah! I'm so blessed and so privileged because think about people that have um, mental issues that are not Kanye West that can't go and make that mm -hmm. and make it feel like it's all good. Think about somebody that does exactly what I did at TMZ and they just do that at work, right? right. But then Tuesday morning they come in and they lost they their gone. job. Yeah, bro. And they can't go back and make that. You know, that's why God put that on me. Yeezy did not directly mention his bipolar diagnosis, but you can connect the dots in the candid sit down. I think everybody got something. But like I said, on the album I said, it's not a disability, it's a superpower. Let's talk showbiz. All right, so that was Kanye West. And this is where we wrap up on Let's Talk Showbiz, today's edition. I'm Doreen Avi. A big up to you, Ike and <laughs> Nats on the ones and twos. I'm Doreen Avi. Catch me same time tomorrow on Joy News on Multi TV. Do enjoy your evening.